in previous tutorials i have already explained indexing delete and search those were manually triggered option let's say if i want these operations to be scheduled at a particular time so to schedule any operation obviously you will be writing a scheduler so as part of this we'll write a scheduler okay so these are all the old classes and i'll add new class one is this solar search scheduler and one configuration obviously i will provide some configurations and those configurations will be used in scheduler right osgi configurations but i'll not write a simple scheduler i'll talk about as part of this tutorial jobs so you will learn a new concept the practical implementation of new concept which i have already explained as part of the scheduler tutorials so let's understand the scenario to understand the jobs so let's say i have a scheduler and i have a configuration i uh, mean service which you provide you the osgi configuration right leave about this how the configuration is configured we'll see that in actual tutorial but we are indexing three different sites let's say i have one usa site another one is germany and another one is a india sites means the brands and i want to should index the data of these site in solar using a scheduled time using scheduler so to write this obviously you'll get all the data means all the configuration and you'll iterate those configuration and execute one by one but let's understand one thing i want to execute at a different time let's say i want to execute means i want to index the us site data to solar at midnight same thing for germany midnight and same as india but this time is not same means these site are different time zone so midnight of each country in a different time zone and you can schedule your scheduler at that particular time so you can schedule your scheduler either usa time or any other time zone let's say even somehow you are able to manage it okay you technically you are strong and you somehow you are to manage it but let's say you want to add two more brands later so then you have to update your logic manually right so there is a problem so this kind of problem you can resolve using jobs rather than the scheduler the same thing jobs will also scheduled so we'll see how you can implement that okay the use case is same so we have instead of having servlet i have a scheduler and this service provide me the configurations osgi configurations where i mention site path hash the regular expression i'll let you know why this hash okay where in this i'm passing uh, my service manager right this solar service manager is passed not to this service this is passed here okay solar search scheduler and i'll have other objects as well this is the same now my i'll create a helper object i have created a different constructor for it and then same old story i'll get oh, is context aware configuration and using context of a configuration i'll get the site id from the site id with the help of this sub solar service manager i'll get the osgi configuration which give you the solar related information and now it will work means you can make calls to solar so i have a very simple osgi configuration which is has a array type of text field where simple text field and there is a service which actually return the array of this configuration now let's come to this solar search scheduler this is important but before that let's understand this uh, solar search helper so for that what did i do i created a another i wrote a another constructor where i'm passing the service site path service manager and the resource resolver earlier we were if you see here we were not passing resource resolver we were passing request response and solar service manager here but in new constructor i'm passing path manager and the resource resolver okay and what i'm doing in constructor in this i'm getting this configuration context aware configuration using this path and the resource resolver which i given here and same way i'm getting this configuration as well using this service manager okay inside this constructor only i got everything and i added here i set in my global variable so that these configuration are available inside my helper class whenever i, I have this helper class method i will be having these objects so this is the important sections means this is the scheduler okay but this is a job actually so i implement instead of runnable i am implementing job here you see this is the different class right here what i am doing in activate i have my own method which i registered while uh, 
adding or while deploying it when this service is registered. So what I'm doing here, I'm getting this configuration means my OSGI configuration which is specific to my this scheduler, right? I got this, I'm iterating it one by one, right? Important is this, okay, these are just loggers. So what I'm doing, I got this whole config, whole config what I written and I split based on this hash, right? So if you let me show you that, what is the configuration? If you see, this is my configuration and it has two part. Before hash, this is the path and after hash, this is a regex, okay? So what I did here, I split those, right, based on this. First part means now it's a split, now it's in array, array of string. The first is my path and my second one is my regular expression. So if you see here, this thing, right? Because this is my for loop, okay? So this whole code execute twice, means whatever the configuration you have, number of configuration. So if you see, this is important here, right? Schedule options. Inside schedule options, I'm passing regular expression. Whatever the regular expression, I got it from my configuration. And then I'm creating a map and I'm putting the site path, whatever the site path and inside this schedule option, I added this map, right? And I scheduled this. If you see here, using the scheduler, I have already have a scheduler here. I got it from the reference and I scheduled this, right? So what happened? If this loop is executed twice, so two jobs will be registered here. At a particular time, means whatever the regex you gave, based on these regexes, this will register those number of jobs, right? If you have two configuration, it will register two jobs. If you have three, it will register three jobs. So what is the benefit of it? So later, let's say you have one more brand. So what you can do, you just add one more configuration and you are done. So this will execute, you add same configuration. So this thing, this whole thing will execute three times and you will have three jobs. And whatever the schedule time you will give, this will execute that job, particular job will execute at what time. So now, let's say you want to execute at 12 USA time, so you can adjust your time, adjust your regex based on your server location or the number of options in reg by, you know, to write regex, right? So you can give the specific time, right, based on your server, right? So that will execute at a specific time and I have path, so because of path, the only, only specific th uh, job will execute. Now, the important part is here you only registered, right? You must have a method called execute and inside this you should have a job context. So whatever you add here, right, that information is available using job context object. This is important, right? So how will you get that? Job context dot get configuration and dot get, dot get object whatever you have, like means this is kind of map you can assume like. So I added here site path and the config value. So how you can get that site path. So this will contain whatever you added there when this specific job execute. So what I'm doing, I've got the resource resolver, simple row story, I'm getting resource resolver from the service user. Once I have that resource resolver, so I created this object of this class. If you see here, site path, whatever I got it from here, this solar service manager, I got it from the reference, same way, okay? And my resource resolver. Once I got this, so what I did, I added, if you see here, solar dot add method right this is the old method right old method if you go here and check see this is my old method which i use to index data so simple old story and i pass this if you see i pass using this same still page service same method i'm passing the page path means the site path it will give you a, a list of the objects means the particular class object which I have already explained means particular bean right so that bean contain each bean contain the data of one page and it is it this list contain those beans right and this the object of the same class right means this solar search helper so this method will have everything and this will execute so will iterate so what happened this will execute twice one once for the geeks tutorial another for the AM geeks and based on because I'm using context aware configuration the same thing this is old story right whatever it's here the same method right so if you see in solar I have deleted all the data zero in the AM geeks and zero in my okay let me remove this as well this is geeks tutorial okay I have removed it so if I refresh this now 
it contains zero data zero for both okay so what okay so you will see here i added some loggers so first it execute at 23 24 and this am geeks executed means the first for the am geeks and it is executed this one for the geeks tutorial and this one for the am geeks but if you come down and you will see let me search this site word site okay right if you see here here in this line number two and four they executed at the same time obviously because this is a small job and later this geeks tutorial execute right because it is executing at every two minutes and am geeks one is executed at four minutes so here it executed now and after two minutes this one executed after four minutes both executed because this is executing on every four minutes the second one is every two minutes so at the fourth minute both will execute so if you see here so that way you can write diff these jobs and you can schedule those as a different time in a single job means single scheduler right you do not need to write a separate scheduler for separate job and let's check that data is came or not because this is the same method okay this is this this is for am geeks 27 documents and geeks tutorial is a four document so okay now again as i explain in all the tutorials so if you don't want to write all the code means all the configurations and all so how you can do that let me show you just a minute so what you can do here for this you can hard code a array here right array with two configurations one is the site and the this regular expression and then this will execute right you can define this uh, here global or whatever you need and you should be good this thing i have already explained how to get these and all so hard code this okay if you don't want to write a whole code and and you should be good rest of the things is already you define so you can execute this thing i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you